three most powerful words to use an interf now for the word you should avoid so you've reached that day the interview day i'm ready are you first thing you need to do is dress smartly uh, if you don't want to be too formal don't wear a tie but wear something comfortable depending on where are you going for an interview um, there are certain professions which require certain certain attire so please look into that also your body posture is extremely important you should be sitting upright and look confident because your interview starts the time you step into the company everybody is watching and everybody will share their feedback you should maintain eye contact ghurne ki zarurat nahi hai pass a smile work on it if required a handshake should be firm and confident last thing you want is to be part of the 47% of candidates who are rejected because they have lack of knowledge of the company they are applying to mera personal experience bhi hai ke when an individual comes in under prepare it is um, quite clear in the first minute you ask them about the company and their body language is just like you uh, aap may be books bechte hain that's not the answer i am looking for and sorry competition is very high i am there to eliminate out of 100 i need to get to one so <laughs> i am looking for reasons to reject uh, online interviews are very common you should be preparing for it because you need to check your infrastructure laptop connection connectivity also check how you look because if you open a screen and suddenly see your face and you're not comfortable with the lighting you will not be able to show that confidence to the interviewer and interviewers they are expert now there are 82% interviews which are now conducted online it's hard to know what questions will come into the interview however you can prepare yourself with the most common ones like what are your strengths what are your weaknesses what you want to achieve uh, in your career these are the things which are reflective and it's difficult to quickly answer them write them down practice and i would have different versions according to different situations so if i'm going for a not for profit organization i want to show commitment to the community commitment to the service if i'm going to a commercial organization i want to show my business acumen so that comes through practice and the answers i've already prepared and probably memorized them storytelling is very important you should be able to tell about the problem statement your thought process in developing the interventions and what results you achieved generally every interviewer at the end of the interview asks um do you have a question for me don't ignore it because that shows lack of interest you should be very keen on asking the interview for example what is your favorite thing about this company working in this company it will help engagement and will show interest also you can talk about the culture the gender diversity i know you're waiting for the three most powerful words to be used in an interview for me they are lead responsible collaborate i was leading the monthly sales presentation I was responsible for the sales distribution data analysis. I collaborated with IT and finance to verify the data accuracy. So you see how those three words are showcasing actions and also highlighting my role. Now for the word which you should avoid. For me it's team player. it's a cliche term used in describing yourself probably would be part of your cv thank you for watching the video and you must have noticed that uh, i'm using more english because english is the corporate language and i was not very good at it i learned over the years don't worry about the word the pronunciation the grammar despite how the interview go always thank your recruiter follow up professionally ek do din ke baad aap check kar sakte hain and uh, 
be positive and if you like what i'm doing please like and subscribe I